But my life is good. Really good. I get to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. Make some soup. It's the best. I love it. I get to lay in a bed by myself all of my life. You're playing music too loud? Right to jail. Right away. You're driving too fast? Jail. Slow? Jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You right to jail. Okay, I don't know. It, whatever it is, it's not right on a teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. No, there it is. We are going to do Sting, yeah. Okay, but... Okay. This, yeah, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. Okay. Honey? Sure. There's yeah. no words there to play us out. What does that mean, to play us out? It's, it's Sting is going to do, it's a video, Sting video. Okay. What is, for credits. I don't know what that means, to play us out. What does that mean? To end the show? Yeah, yeah. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is a... Okay, in five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and we will leave you with a... I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll... No. we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can... I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! We obviously didn't communicate clearly. We had to discuss your surrender, not mine. Tú eres tan romántico como la estando con una vipa. Me preguntas si te quiero. Yo te digo que no estoy lista y no quiero comenzar. No hay nada que empezar. Yo te dejaré atrás. Mientras gano más y más. No estás en mi nivel y tú no eres obligación. No estás motivada y tú aburres mi corazón. Eres un idiota. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Luis Martinez, a.k.a. Big Chief Burrito, the host of Mi Gente Show, a proud media sponsor of the San Diego Latino Film Festival 2023, the 3030 30th anniversary, SDLFF2023 is the hashtag. Live on a Saturday. And this is um, just an impromptu stream that I decided to pop on real quick. We're going to take a look at some of the trailers for the movies that are playing today. Pump, pump you up for SDLFF 2023. We gave away two VIP passes on the live stream. Um, I blew my voice out. 
Thursday and Wednesday, the live stream for three hours, and then the live stream, and then the after party, and then the opening night party, which was lit. Um, caused me to wake up yesterday almost not being able to talk. It's most of the way back. So we're going to push on through, but I did want to check in with everybody, answer any questions you might have about the festival, um, and just kind of pump everybody up because it's a big day, rain or shine. Rain or shine, we're going to be there. So let's get pumped up. Rain or shine, food, a beer, the tequila will be flowing like wine. I think they'll also have wine. Uh, gonna go out on a limb there and say there's gonna be some tacos, some sort of ceviche situation. There's always really in like incredible chefs that are part of that. Um, so let's preview that first. I'm going to take a look at some trailers from some of the movies that you guys get, but make sure that you guys are going to sdlatinosfilm.com and uh, so that we can, you know, buy tickets. And you can always use the code MIHENTE SHOW at checkout for 15% off. That being said, let's go ahead and start previewing this. If you're showing up, if you're going to stop by, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know you're stopping by. Because this is, uh, you know, this is kind of what I'm doing right now. All right. So we're going to share this screen here, share our audio, and we're going to play this little preview here. All right. So we're going to share this screen here, share our audio. And we're going to play this All right. We got Jeff Carlos Esquivel. Looks is extremely popular. Make sure you get there, get your tickets now. SDLatinoFilm.com, rain or shine. Uh, VIP tickets open at 2.30. General admission is at 3.30. It goes till 6.30. Um, right there in AMC Mission Valley, close to where the secondary art hub, it's not where the film hub is. It's where the secondary art hub is, which is towards the, I believe, northern side of the mall. I'll get that info out to you guys real quick. I also wanted to give you guys a heads up on the schedule. If you go to sdlatinofilm.com, you'll be able to find all the movies that are playing real quick. I also wanted to give you guys um, a schedule, the schedule, a film guide. If you go to sdlatinofilm.com, uh, you'll be able to schedule for today is getting playing. started with La Lucha, Getting Schooled in America. That starts now pretty soon. So if you're there, you're going out sold out. Schedule for today is getting started with La Lucha, Getting Schooled in America. That starts now pretty soon. All right, that's so good. If you're there, you're going out sold out. Let's figure out why this movie was sold out. Let's catch the truth. out. School, it wasn't that important. It was important to some kids, but to my group, it wasn't that important. It was more important with what we're going to do on Friday and Saturday night. Once the bullying started, I would make up all kinds of excuses not to go to school. 30% of students who do not graduate high school end up dead or in jail. What's happening to students at Bacoma is not unique to that area. It's systematic across the country. High school graduates were expected to have seven more years of life than dropouts. And I never had like a thought of me going to college. I always thought I'd probably be in jail right now, locked up or even killed. You know, I meet some of these kids, these students, that my heart goes out to them. One loving, self-attuned adult can change an entire kid's life around. Like Quan. I, I love that I love that kid. In the educational world, we have what's called response to intervention. And what we really need to do is, is figure out where students are and meet them there. But if we haven't fixed the reasons why you came figure out where students are into us in the first place, then we know we lose the game long term. To you, you're like, just leave me alone. I'm trying to All right. To us, we're trying to save her life. 
It's being reported that festivities for the World Series win for the Los Angeles Dodgers has turned fatal in Pacoima tonight. It's being reported that festivities for the World Series win for the Los Angeles Dodgers has turned fatal in Pacoima tonight. All right, so we got one movie sold out. That's pretty awesome. La Lucha getting schooled in America. All right, so we got one movie sold out. Hopefully that'll screen another time during the festival. Let me give, give me two seconds, guys. I want to be able to make sure. I know it's playing the audio, but I just get like paranoid that it's not playing it for, for when, when you guys are watching it. So let me just triple check that our audio is playing that. All right, so La Lucha. In school in America today at 11:45. Sabor Latino 2:30 to 6:30. Somebody just asked me, Luis, how much is Sabor Latino? Day of the event, $55. Early entrance at 2:30. But if you use code Mihente Show, it's 15% off. Food for thought. Literal food for thought. See how that worked? Um, but yeah, Sabor Latino today, 2.30 p.m., 30th anniversary. Six Literal Sabor Latino. For thought. See how that worked? Uh, um, chefs, live music, celebrities, yeah, four beer, Latino, tequila, today, mas. Uh, sponsor, Kate Wena, 106.5 FM, and Amor, 102.9. Uh, chefs, uh, there's going to be a best disc beer, contest. Today, um, uh, sponsor, Kate Wena, 106.5 21 and up. FM, and Amor, 102.9. Rain or shine. Uh, Westfield, the eastern end of the mall. So it's not northern. It's the eastern end of the mall. Near where Macy's and the Tilted Kill were. Uh, Westfield, uh, 1640 Camino de Rio, South San Diego, California. Near where Macy's $55 day off for the VIP, um, minus the 15% off. That's pretty good. You're gonna get a deal. That's a bargain, as we say for the VIP streets. All right, uh, I had another couple of trailers here that I wanted to play. That's a bargain, as we say on the streets. This is a movie that's been getting a lot of buzz, and I think we're gonna have some some people, some talent from the film here today. Um, it's called Me Mataron Tres Veces. And I think we're going to have some... Me mataron tres veces. Awesome looking film. Um, it's called Me mataron let's tres veces. Uh, see if we can full screen this. No, that's me not going to work. Awesome right, let's check it out. Let's uh, see if we can full screen this. No, that's not going to work. Let's check it out. Sorry, guys. My interwebs is... Kind of slow right now, so let me pop that out real quick. Check out, make sure everything's working. No, that's good. How have you guys been liking the streams? We did a three hour previous stream from Cinema Viva. Shout out Cinema Viva, downtown San Diego for your content creating needs. Um, they really hooked us up with some time and some space there to do all that. And um, it was a really, really cool, cool event. Um, to do the stream to give away tickets. It uh, warmed my heart. And look, check out some of this immersive art. Look, look at this mural and that uh, that they did. I think this was Esmeralda and Melody that did this. Look, check out some of this immersive art. Look, look, look at this that. mural that, uh, that they did. These are the previous Esmeralda posters. You got live art happening. These are the previous posters. One of the sponsors here, I was Frescas. You got live art. Paco in the house. Look at that. Some of his interactive art. One of the sponsors here, I was Frescas. Juan, one of our hosts. Paco in the house. Look at that. Some of his interactive Jordan. One of the sponsors here, I was Juan, one of our hosts. This was at the Joaquin Ocasio uh, press conference and tribute. Yeah, look, there's wine. Wine, tequila. There's Ethan. Conference the OG of SDLFF. Yeah, look, there's one. Wine, tequila. There's Ethan. The Man, I really like that immersive mural. I mean, get a picture in front of that. Absolutely. Mandatory. Mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. 
All right. Let's see if these trailers will play now. Let's refresh it. Hit that refresh button. Let's hit that refresh. Why are you talking to me? Nos volvimos difíciles de ver Porque somos incómodos de ver Porque nuestro dolor Es el resultado de lo que no funciona en la sociedad Si son asesinadas 11 mujeres todos los días en México y asumimos que la mitad de ellas son mamás. ¿Dónde están esas niñas y niños? Cada feminicidio en este país está dejando en orfandad por año a 3.000, 4.000 niñas y niñas en esta situación. Nos quedamos solos, tres hermanos, sin apoyo de ningún tipo. Huérfano, de madre y padre el mismo día. Nos toca a nosotros contar qué fue lo que pasó. Mi nombre es Angélica. Mi nombre es Beto. Mi nombre es Rodrigo. Y soy huérfano por fin. Soy huérfano por fin. Holy guacamole. All right. Holy guacamole. All right. That movie, Doc, me mataron tres veces. And there will be, it looks like several people associated with that film live today during the screening. <clears throat> me mataron tres veces. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Still a little bit there. Uh, Me Matron Tres Veces is playing today at the festival, AMC Mission Valley. You can catch that today uh, at 2, 10 p.m. So you can show up, you can catch watch Me Matron Tres Veces, and then go drown our sorrows. And you can show up, watch Me Matron Talk about it <laughs> over some tacos and beer. And then go um this is a question that i get asked about so you can quite you can you can catch it here you can go to sdlatino.com get your tickets 15 percent off use me and to go ahead check out um it's also playing monday march the 13th so if you can't catch it today this is a very important movie very serious subject that affects the latino community specifically the, the, the mexican american community and mexicanos in, in in the border towns a lot as well uh, um and um it's playing today 2.30, 2 10 p.m. and uh, Monday, 9.30 p.m. at uh, both times at AMC Mission Valley. Get your tickets now. Um, I had somebody ask me a question. I actually had pe several people ask me this question. They asked me, Luis, because I'm inviting everybody that I know to the festival. And they say, Luis, um, R or Lou or Louis, you know, never Louis. Um, they're asking me, Louis, no, no, sorry. Um, are the movies in English? Are all the movies in Spanish? Are all the movies in Spanish? And the, and the answer is no. This is not a Spanish language film festival. This is a Latino film festival that tries to promote both Latino and Spanish films as well as Latino American filmmakers. There's there's, there's not necessarily a hundred percent crossover there, but you have a lot of like foreign Latin, Mexican Latin, South American filmmakers that make these great films from Mexico. Of course, there's going to be tons of movies from Mexico, but then there's also a lot of um, Mexican American, Colombian, Uruguayan filmmakers in the United States that that are here making movies that are Latino, Latino descendant. Um, so a lot of the movies, I would say, I would say it's maybe close to 50-50. I think Moises or Juan, somebody could, could give me a better number on that, like 50-50 in terms of what movies are in English or Spanish. But all the movies that are in Spanish, it is a requirement to play at the festival that they have English subtitles. So even like you said, all the all the all the docs, all the films, all the dramas, all the shorts, anything that's 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 in Spanish is absolutely um, going to be with subtitles, as you can see from the trailers. What should we get into now? 
So if you have been at the festival, if you're going to go today, is there a movie that you want to check out? Let me know. We will play the trailer and discuss. All right. This is one of the movies that is part of my showcase. We got any Butter Pecan Ricans in the house? We have any Puerto Ricanos? I know Edwin's half Puerto Rican, right? Edwin uh, Franco. Um, this movie comes all the way from Puerto Rico. It's in Spanish, English subtitles. It's called Los Mecanicos. It's about a bunch of DJs that get fired from the radio station oh, wait, job wait, wait, and English sort of fake the funk it's on being Los mechanics Los for a, a bunch of DJs that get fired uh, car from racing company. Job. Linda, te toca la compañía. Lo único que queda de la compañía es el taller y muchas deudas que pagar. Esto está peor de lo que yo pensaba. Ese evento no vale la pena. Este es el deporte que más gloria le ha traído a Puerto Rico. Actualmente tenemos más de 30 récords mundiales. Lo que pasa es que aquí no le dan el valor que se merece. El premio son 50 mil dólares. Con ese dinero puedo salvar el taller y poco a poco levantar la compañía. Tú ni siquiera sabes lo que se necesita para correr en ese tipo de evento. Mecánicos racing y un chofer. ¿Y dónde están que no los veo? Qué buen chela. Están votados. ¿Cómo que están votados? Nosotros somos las estrellas del canal. Dije que no firmaras ese contrato, caramba. La dueña nos ofreció 10 mil dólares. Y lo único que quiere es que nosotros supuestamente preparemos un auto y corramos un evento. Nosotros no sabemos nada de carro, no sabemos nada de racing y no somos mecánicos. Bienvenidos a No Hay Liga. Soy Linda Rivera, un placer. Linda, linda, linda. ¿Con quiénes son los mecánicos que vamos a estar trabajando del taller? Claro, tenemos que ponernos al día con ellos simplemente para saber qué saben. No tenemos mecánicos, pero con profesionales como ustedes. Claro, tú, tú sabes la que hay, claro que sí. Está hecho como nosotros, nadie. ¿No tienes mecánicos? No, yo no nací para estar metido en un carro lleno de carros. ¡Prende! No hace nada, estoy no hace nada. No, nosotros tenemos que hacer lo que hace todo hombre verdadero. ¿Ustedes dan servicio de mecánica de domicilio? Doctora, un gusto wow. tenerte en el equipo. Eh, eh, ¿Qué es lo que he dicho? Ah, que son 20 pesos. Se escucha bien. Yo te dije que nosotros somos los duros en esto. Los duros. Vamos a probarlo. Muchacho, vamos a enseñarle a estos tipos quiénes somos nosotros. Busquen YouTube, ¿cómo que se hace eso? ¡Papoy Luis! ¡Bajate! Creo que encontré el problema. La fuerza F que produce el torque es variable. ¿Qué pasa? ¡No lo suelte! ¡Baja ahí! Con esto es lo que yo no voy a ganar en la competencia. Eso, eso es lo que yo hago, ganar. some cool drone shots um funny acting even though the trailer for some reason I, I think maybe i got the had the wrong one but the trailer was all in spanish but um the movie will have subtitles so anybody so just to reiterate what people ask me are the movies in english or the movies in spanish the movies are in both the movies are uh any american movie uh um will be in english obviously duh. uh and any movie that's uh from that that was made in spanish will have english subtitles or if they're in portuguese they'll have english subtitles um etc some movies are mixed a lot of them are going back and forth i love that trend in movies where you know back in the days we all grew up with movies where you know you'd have a movie and there'd be germans or russians and they'd all be speaking uh just uh perfect english or british english with a british accent they were supposed to be russian shout out sean connery to go to that uh and um we played a character called the Spaniard. Um, and uh, but now I think the trend in movies is to when you're when you're showing people in, in different countries, it's it's I think it's over the probably like the last five, 10 years. Uh, there's been a lot more of. Yeah, these people are speaking Russians and you got subtitles. So. I think that's kind of awesome because it's it's a lot more representative that it's, it's, you know, you used to have to suspend disbelief a lot more uh let's see what else i got la lucha we talked about we saw that uh this is what what movie is this All right, hold on a second. the next movie that i wanted to talk about is so anyway los mecanicos is part of the i can reuse the showcase as i've said before that's the showcase that i have been uh promoting and that i curated um so i'm incredibly proud of that this is 
All right. This is a movie that's playing tonight. That um, one of the people that won tickets from South of Eight podcast, they said they were going to go watch this movie. And uh, let me see what it's about. South of Eight podcast. They said they were going to go watch this movie. And, uh, let me see what it's about. We're going to lose 20% more Seguimos sin gente que trabaje y no, me están, me están corriendo. ¿Te vas a ir? Si no me queda otra. Sí, te vas a ir. No, te la ves sin entender. Sin cosechadora no se hace nada, viejo. A mi hijo es que estaba acá. Tiene una familia, tiene una señora con una chiquita. ¿Cómo chavos? Carlos. ¿Al contractor? Sí. Número 8, a levantarse, arriba. Mira ese caballo ahí. ¿eh? A ver si me lo prestan para correr el rey 115 Santa Clara. ¿Y si no te lo prestan? Me lo voy a Dan un buen premio. ¿Así? ¡Cablo! ¡Con cuidado, viejo! Ahora yo no tengo tiempo, no tengo que terminar una, una parte de la soja ahí. Ustedes van conmigo. Tengo lugar en la cabina. ¡Cuidado, Carlos, la zanja! Muy grande para no verme. Como no lo habíamos marcado, pero tú sabías que estaba ahí. Carlos. Lamento mucho lo que pasó con tu chiquita. Si quieres, podemos traer acá a tu compañera que esté con vos para que estén juntos. Buen día. Nos metieron una denuncia por el accidente. Nos van a hacer un juicio por una cosa que se llama responsabilidad penal empresarial. Seguramente hay forma de arreglar, Dios. Plata. ¿Me dejas, por favor? Quiero que ella se vaya. No tiene nada que hacer en la cancha. Mira que si yo quiero, te un. Están utilizando el tema política. A Rodrigo lo van a meter en cara y ustedes están hablando de carrera de caballos. Tranquilizado. No va a ir por eso. Ah, yeah, that looks badass, man. This is, I believe the movie is from Uruguay, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, um, yeah, that looks badass, man. I mean, the accent sounded Uruguay. This is, Uruguay. I believe the movie is... Uh, let me double check. Yeah, uh, Spotlight Film Showcase Narrative Feature Uruguay. Um, an accident causing cataclysmic consequences for employees and bosses. They try to act in the best yeah, interest uh, of their respective newborns and families. Um, Tonight, 9.15 p.m. for my late night, peeps. Get off work late. Mission Valley area, stop on by. Listen, you can watch Scream or Creed like two weeks from now, right? The next eight days is when you can watch these very specific Latino films, and we need to support each other and support the festival. So I'm really excited about this movie for tonight. If I can't be there, because I'm going to be there at the festival all, all afternoon. But if I'm there till later, I'm going to watch this. If not, <clears throat> you can catch it tomorrow early at 1.50 p.m. Both times at Mission Valley. Screen 2. You can catch it tomorrow. So come check this out, man. I think uh, I'll double check right here for you guys. But I don't know if we have anybody from that movie coming by today. Who's going to be at the festival today? I think uh, Joaquin Cosio is going to be sealed there. He's the, um, you know, they did a tribute to him on opening night and we're playing a bunch of his movies. Matando Cabos is the one I think plays today. Matando Cabos is playing today at noon. So that's going to start pretty soon. So if you're, at, you're heading towards the festival, Matando Cabos starting right now. La Lucha is sold out. Uh, let's see what I have here. Uh, another movie that starts today at 12.15. El Ojo de Agua de los Galvez. Mis raíces y todo lo que aprendí está aquí. Y aquí fue el rancho de los que se esquilmó primero la agua. Pero todos tuvieron casas aquí, los papás de ellos, las raíces. Estaban todas las casas casi habitadas. La vida, ¿eh? Y a correr. Háganse un cambio, cada uno y vámonos. Vámonos. Todos. Y van creciendo y mamá, me voy a ir de Estados Unidos, imagínate. Es un dolor muy grande cuando se van sus hijos. Y van creciendo y mamá, me voy a ir de Estados ¿Qué va a hacer de mis hijos? Es un dolor muy grande. Muy bueno, que Dios quiera. 
Well, this is about like the, the Mexican towns that sort of get. There was a movie about this last year. About this quedando, decimos, horas extras. <clears throat> sort of got forgotten because everybody was leaving. En un futuro no muy lejano, pasaré los mejores días de mi vida. Es un ranchito perdido en medio de nada. No hay nada que hacer, no hay habitantes, no hay agua. No hay niños. Y queda un rancho fantasma. ¿Eh? Si no puede uno traer más gente para acá, de perdido, mantener las que están aquí, ¿no? Los pilares que están todavía valen oro. Hay que guardarlas como una reliquia porque son cosas que no se van a volver a ver por muchas manos pasadas. Pues el temor, el ojo de agua de los galeros. Lo más grande que siento es que el ancho el ojo de agua que quede abandonado. <coughs> That shot right there was incredible. This is a great shot right there. Look at that. That shot right there. Pues el temor. Temor más grande que siempre. Beautiful shot. Every year I am mesmerized by the cinematography and the skill of the filmmakers that we have. Um, beautiful shot. You can watch this movie today at 12.15 if you're on your way or Monday, March 13th at 9.45 p.m. Two showings. Most films get two showings. Double check the schedule when you're going to watch something because you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that you are going to the correct theater. This year we have screenings at both AMC Mission Valley, AMC Mission Valley, and we also have screenings at the Digital Gym downtown, Park and Market, and Park and Market, I believe. Um, so double check when you get your tickets that it is at the theater that you want to go see the movie at because most of them have two theaters or two screenings. And in some cases, they'll both be at AMC. And in some cases, one will be at AMC and one will be at uh, the digital gym. And I am confirming that we, it looks like in our sheet here, it says that there will be cast and crew from Me Mataron Tres Veces at the festival today. Joaquin Cosio, obviously, there's always going to be cast and crew from El Ojo del Agua de los Galvez. And also uh, for La Lucha Getting Schooled in America, there's going to be a bunch of people uh, there's going to be a congressman. Hey, the mayor was at our opening night party? The mayor of San Diego at SD Latino Film Festival. That was a trip. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find what the next movie here is that I wanted to watch real quick with you. Hold on. What? Now let's watch another trailer. Chimambo Ashe. She aguelo y acuere. Que. Enterumba e icharaha. Então você consegue ver os, os barracos né, de todas essas 10 mil hectares que vai do asfalto até o Paraguai. Tudo isso hoje está na posse absoluta dos indígenas. Vai do asfalto até o Paraguai. Tudo isso hoje está na posse absoluta. A ore guarani caiu a coera, que tá mandu ao dia de deco. Que tá gente de rua, a coera, a rua. O estado do Mato Grosso do Sul conta atualmente com 123 propriedades privadas invadidas. 
Os fazendeiros vivem em estado de pânico, em estado de caos. Hoje eles vivem na certeza da impunidade. Se você deixa seu filho fazer o que ele bem entender, daqui dois, três anos você não tem mais controle nenhum sobre ele. Vamos precisar aí de alguns atos do atual governo federal pela manutenção da ordem real. That looks badass. Okay, got it. All right, I'm wrapping up here, guys. I am trying to pump up as many films as we can for this festival. Thank you for watching. So, hopefully we'll see you guys at the... Hey, check it out. Oh, and what happens when you start turning the pages? Oh, oh, look, there's information about the movies. And if you get the third P, third page, what do you got right here? Check it out. What's this? It? What's this it right there? Film sponsors. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Is that us? Is that me? Hemp the show? Official sponsor of the festival? Catch me outside at the festival, guys. I got stickers for you if you come by and say hello. We got these, but you got to be subscribed to the podcast. To get one of the fancy ones. And um, look, I'm going to be on for like another couple of minutes. If you have any questions about the festival, let me know. I'll try to answer the best I can. The, the biggest questions I get is, um, are the movies in Spanish or in English? They're in both. You know, any movie that's in Spanish will have subtitles. Uh, how much is Sabor Latino? VIP tickets are $55. Movies are, I think, like 12 bucks this year. Plus, you can get 15% off by using Mi Gente. Mi Gente Show, you can get a code. I use that code and you can get any movie, any special event, you're going to get a discount on it. Um, all right. I have a couple of the trailers and then I'll get out of here. And then I'm going to get ready to go to the festival. I'm going to be there pretty soon. So and then I'll get out of here. And then Let's I'm watch the trailer for Nuestros go. Dias Más Felices, which plays today at 2.05 p.m. at the Digital Gym. Okay, see? This movie's at the Digital Gym. So let's say you can't make it to fashion to Mission Valley. Let's say you're downtown area, Little Italy. Let's say you're dead in the middle of Little Italy. So let's say you can't make it to Fashion to Mission Valley. Let's say I want to go to the festival. I want to support filmmakers, but I can't get to Mission Valley today on a Saturday. I'm closer to downtown. Go watch this movie. Capítulo 6. La conquista del éxito. Para superar el obstáculo es preciso volver al conflicto más largo. En la conversación. ¿Cuál es el obstáculo que impide mi llegada a la felicidad? ¿Llamó a tu hermana? No, todavía no. Mamá. ¿Qué? Feliz cumple. This looks almost surrealist. ¿De qué hablaban? ¿Qué me haces, canela? Es mamá. Basta, Elisa, soy yo. Uh oh. Plot twist. Basta, Elisa. Mamá. Plot twist. 
qué te reís? Bueno, como si la situación no fuera al menos un poco absurda. Ya estás borracha. No, hijo, es la juventud. Siento que no me queda mucho tiempo. Te amo. Vos sos el más especial de todo este pueblo de mierda. Nunca te sientas menos. Los ojos. Todo está en los ojos. Yeah, that movie looks trippy as hell. Okay, I want to watch this. From Argentina. Yeah, that movie looks trippy as um, well. Okay. Plays today at the Digital Gym downtown, 205. Um, um, and plays. Wednesday at 4.45 at AMC Mission Valley. I really, it looks very surreal, very trippy. I really, look, this is my favorite part of the festival because as you, I've told you guys a lot is I watch all the comedies in my role as comedy curator. Um, it's kind of my thing. It's kind of my job. And um, so I'm familiar with all the movies that are comedies or that are billed as comedies. And then I'm, you know, then I catch other films that get assigned to me to sort of give my opinion on. Um, because, you know, the selection committee is about 10, 15 people. And there's literally six, 700 movies that we have to watch. So my favorite part of the festival is going to see the movies that I have no idea about that. I just look at a trailer and I'm like, I am so hyped for that. Um, <clears throat> let's take one last look at the schedule. See if there's anything else that I missed that has a trailer and then I'll get out of your guys' hair. Um, La Lucha, Manco Paz, Soy Niño, ta, 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 Viva, Mujer. Viva Mujer is show showcases today. Excited about that. Uh, ta, ta, ta. Los Mecánicos, I told you about, 4.45 p.m. Uh, Matando Cabos, we already said, Joaquin Ocasio will be there. La Vida en Silencio, El Empleado del Patrón, The Pastor and the Revolutionary. A lot of movies tonight, man. Big night. Also, Arte Latino, um, Andy and Melody have done an incredible job. I showed you guys some of the pictures. Um... But look, man, this was the uh, opening day press conference. Uh, I met her and him because they were part of the episodic showcase. Great movie called Mal de Amores. I don't want to say her name wrong, but she was cool. Met her, her girlfriend at the party. There's uh, Joaquin. People there for the showcase. Met her, her girlfriend at the party. Awesome shots people there for the showcase look it was a whole vibe awesome shot sdlff getting it done one end you're done look it was a whole vibe tequila wine ethan SDLFF, look man done. i'm not here to tell you where to use your disposable income but we're in san diego it's a latino community mostly mexican-american but as a colombian uruguayan i feel welcomed here and there's a lot of then there's a lot more community now and a lot of more mix of latinos than it used to be when i first moved here we got colombian restaurants peruvian restaurants argentinian restaurants argentinian communities brazilian communities central american communities and restaurants so i want everybody to reach out to the people in your latino circle and say hey Let's go watch a movie at the San Diego Latino Film Festival. There's tons of festivals in San Diego, and this is my favorite, not only because it's uh, showcased my movies and it was the first major festival in the U.S. that really accepted me and accepted our films. When we started, we've had Slapworthy in this festival. We had Alien Story in this festival. We had uh, a documentary in this festival, um, and we had um, El Ladrón de Bicicletas, uh, played in this festival during COVID where we got to watch the movies at a drive through So I've had so many in incredible experiences at the festival. Um, I consider San Diego my adopted hometown and I'm a big fan of it. And, um, you know, we got to support each other, support Latino communities, support Latino talent. 
So my advice to you on a Saturday is to go to Solar Latino, stick around, go watch a movie. And if for some reason you can't, check out sdlatinofilm.com. Check out all the movies that are playing from now till the 19th. Pick one, pick two. Grab a friend, go watch a movie. I'm partial to the Ike Reyes, the comedy showcases because I curated those, but there are so, so many good ones. Un Mundo Extraño, Somos LGBTQ, Viva Mujeres, Spotlight Films, Classic Films, Dramas, Documentaries, Frontera Filmmakers Showcase. Look, I could literally talk on and on about this. I talked for about seven hours about it last week live on stream and we gave away tickets. So, all right, guys, I am going to go get ready. Get my festival fit on. You know, Big Chief Burrito got to look good, you know, for the event. If you see me out there, come say hi. I'll be the guy stuffing my face with tequila and beer and food. And also watching movies and doing Q&As. Um, so if you haven't already, follow ISD Latino Film. Follow myself at Big Chief Burrito on Instagram and Twitter. Follow Mi Gente Show at Mi Gente Show on Instagram or Twitter. You can find Mi Gente Show podcast literally anywhere you get your podcast. Just type in Mi Gente Show. Give us a follow, a subscribe, listen to a couple of episodes. Let us know what you think. It helps us out tremendously. We're approaching 500 episodes, 500 downloads per episode. My goal is to hit 1,000 downloads per episode before the end of the year. That would be massive for our show and for the future of the show. And uh, I appreciate you for stopping by. I know people stopped in and out. It's early. It's Saturday. People might be doing errands and stuff like that. And it's San Diego. It's been raining, but it looks like it'll just be cloudy today. Rain or shine will be out there. <sighs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys at the festival. Nos vemos en el cine, mi gente. Papá, hay que irnos, me estoy aguantando desde que pusieron el domo Puedes despegar, muchas personas trabajaron en esta película Y solo quieren que te aprendas sus nombres de memoria Y yo quiero asegurarme de que ningún animal resultó lesionado Durante la filmación de esta película ¿Sí? Listo Uy, palomitas en el suelo Pero parece que Maggie tiene algo que decir. No, su primera palabra. ¿Qué escuela? Cuatro años de escuela de cinematografía para esto.